what's up guys this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War let's play as the Republic of Venice and in this episode we are taking back Vienna from the Russian dogs that took it before so we have attacked while they've got some level of attrition uh, but we will be maximizing our use of our howitzers so let's fight because you have to bear in mind um, even though we are we have made peace with Prussia and Poland it is entirely possible that they declare war on us and this part of the world becomes a and a focus of conflict in future so we want to minimize our losses of troops as much as we can and then we want to start supping the beautiful bounty that Vienna places upon us because I am not giving it back to Austria they it was fun to keep them alive for as long as possible uh, however, I think we can agree that they caused serious problems in their own way. Right, so... If I advance here, if I go here, I have to advance too close. And the howitzers, the mortars can engage my artillery. So I want to stay... back here. Then... broadly, I want to... Um, contain the front two breaches and then focus on one of the actual planks. Keep my, get my engineers over here as well. Keep my storm, but storming units on the left. My conscripts, they'll hold the gate and the, the pikemen will stay with them. Cavalry is not super useful at the minute. Put artillery, engage the fort. You guys fire a shot at troops on the walls. Produce some damage. Good hits. Oh, holy moly. Hussars advance. They've got artillery outside of the walls. That's weird. I don't think it'll stop us doing what we're doing. I'm willing to risk my hussars. straight on one of these guns. That artillery piece should be dead, but I suppose it is not. My full artillery batteries are still working on the wall. Howitz is still firing carcass shots. So they're going to attack this gun team, then they're going to run around and attack the general and the sakers to the rear. Yeah, they got, they didn't, they got some of our crews, but our howitzers are still up and kicking. Just keep hitting the block, the mass of the Russian troops. Okay, keep pushing the hussars. A lot of kills on this flank. I suppose it, it might not be the general. There's still a general's unit in the fort. Still, better than nothing. Hmm. They're trying to pursue us, which is nice. So folks, I'm trying to kill this general's bodyguard, just in case. Oh no, their general general is inside. You can see the star on the, the minimap.
and it's focused on trying to hit this section of the wall because it, it allows for maximum casualties for carcass shot. Another, another um, volley from my foot artillery and we will make a breach. There we go. Good kills, good kills. So they're, they're Jammer's bodyguard. I mean, they've got they've got hit points. They're they're, they're sturdy, you think. And they're running to try and protect them. I mean, they may end up protecting them. Ultimately, this artillery battery won't make a big difference to us. Well, that's their mortars dealt with. We still outnumber them nearly three to one. Yeah, we're being fired upon. That will make them upset as well. We're about to make our breach. So I'll really engage that section of the wall. Wavering. Take them out. Just shatter them so they don't come back. Then go after the artillery. Start to get our howitzers to attack these concentrations of enemy troops. That's them done. So let's run my hussars back to over here. Engage. Now it says make ready. Missiles are being fired upon. They might not make it. They're only armed citizenry manning, manning the fire step, so we should be okay. Artillery, the artillery strikes in the city are always the worst. No, we're good. So we want to form up our blocking units, or our units that are going to take position outside of the gates. Oh, my hussars did break in the end. Very well. They did their job. Hussars aren't super useful in a city fight. And these guys can advance up the flank. No, they came back. Excellent. focusing on that Cossack unit and this unit of line. So let's speed up time. So just letting artillery slam home and do their thing. 6th Regiment on the wall could still cause problems. Try and attack that unit that's pushed out. You guys hold positions and just put some volleys into the 77. Deploy the light horse. Yeah, there we go. They are attacking us up on the wall. Keep hitting them with our howitzer shot. If 
I can get you guys to run. If we start scaling the walls, then they might pour out of the breaches to try and stop us. Yeah, they're just picking us off. Some grenadiers by the gate. Give everyone orders to scale the walls. There we go, they're redeploying. With artillery on firing, otherwise they would be trapped. Because the howitzers have fired twice in that time. Yeah, they've just stopped firing for reasons un only known to themselves. Yeah, that's it. They, they just they they've just given up. Attack ground in front of the wall, maybe. Let's pack them up and then unpack them. Grenadiers form square. How oh, it's fire round shot the fort, because the fort artillery has let us down badly, deciding it does not want to shoot. This way. Let's get my pikes over here. You guys are limber again. Although it's probably going to be too late, my howitzers will end up finishing the job. Infantry scale the walls. If you change your mind, you have changed your mind. Finally. Now it's just, ra just rapid fire round shot into the mix. Okay, the gate here is ours. We can work our way through these cavalry. We'll climb up the wall in no time. There we go. Get the 12 pounders just to pound the breaches. Pikemen over here, so they can they can clear out this cavalry easily enough. More got guerrilla mercenaries charging up the wall. And then my grenadiers can get out of the way. Just let my pikemen. My pikemen will just clear them out completely. Infantry look, some line infantry look like they want to come out and play. They're charging into the gate as well. Or they're going to charge up against us. 
Good question, but we are going to clear out the 5th Regiment. No trouble. What is their preferred course of action? Get my Marines and Line Infantry down off the wall. Push these guys in. Hillary cease fire. Look at the Vibuani Streltsy. Let's go for the Regiment of Horse. Once we've got them, the gate is ours and we can push through. You guys have to make a choice about how many units you want to defend this breach. Pikemen, get in. Grenadiers, get in. There we go. Damn it. Oh, why don't I hate why the game decides it wants to just run people out into a massive line like this? It makes no sense. Now we've been met by a unit of infantry guarding the gates. Let's get my conscript in here too, in my general up close. Get in here. We can knock out the 26th regiment, that would be super. Hussars charge the 5th. You men get here and hold. Should you men get over into this breach? Try run my conscripts through the gaps where possible. Where's my grenadiers? Okay, you guys try break out of this combat and go after the artillery. No, why are you running out? Don't run out. So then the artillery, artillery have been wiped out. Get the Cossack infantry in the flank, try to provide some support. The conscripts go after their general. Hacking our way through the first in the breach. Kill the artillery crews. This regiment of line infantry needs to get out of this combat. over into the general's combat as well. You guys need to get off the walls. Let's probably run one unit through this breach. Eventually they just don't have enough men to stop us. We can just run through. They just stop. It happens. Okay, now 
don't get involved in the big scrim. Get some marines to scale the wall here. Deal with the armed citizenry. Shattered. Bring the cavalry back. Artillery crews are still running away. So now the, the people here are sufficiently small in number that we can just... Excellent. Get in. Gate is secured. You men engage the friendly Russian troops in the centre. Pike still after this last handful of infantry. Marines are against the Wyalock armed citizenry. Let's give them some help. And one of these two is the. No, no, I've already got the general. It's fine. You guys get back up here and get here and form the line. Howitzers switch to round shot and attack the 15th regiment. Excellent. The fighting here is still hard, but we've got them surrounded then broken. When you men engage the citizenry, they're shaken, but marines are doing good damage. Excellent. We're firing on the troops on the wall. being pounded by artillery. There we go, shattered. There goes the men on the walls. Excellent. Vienna is taken, but let's see what state of the world is after we've taken it. So they hate us, as you would imagine. I'm going to uh, repair the Royal Observatory, then spend the rest of our money replenishing our army, just to be ready for whatever comes next. We may have to demolish the University at Graz. I don't really want to. But I may have to. Just to bring them on side. Because that would that would resolve our public order issues immediately. Might yeah, I might do that just for now. Just to bring them on site. Cool. Do we have any ooh, trade opportunities? Hey Prussia, now we're not enemies anymore. Let's trade. Hey Poland, now we're not enemies anymore. Sad. United Provinces, let's trade. Bavaria. Oh, they're a new enemy. Let's trade. They want indefinite military access? Yeah. Württemberg, oh, they're unfriendly. Are they a border nation of ours? I want to do it just to secure my borders. New Spain with their cross eyed leader. Excellent. Persia, I mean, you hate us because we're at war with 
the Ottomans. But let's go mad. I mean, we tried Poland. Excellent. So let's get a... 6-3. Oh, I can't get him in there yet. That means we are up. 17,000 gold. That's super duper. 17,000 a turn. We've never had that. And ultimately, we might never have it again. <laughs> um, because so many people may declare war on us and we're going to lose a bunch of trade agreements. <laughs> that could well happen. So they want, ah, they want Hungary. What if I do counter offer? No Hungary, no money. We keep the keep the tech. No, fair enough. It's unfortunate about the university because I want to. Well, I need to get quicklime if I want to start uh, attacking the or fighting against the the Ottoman Empire, which is another potential enemy. But I think with 17,000 the bank, we can really make some good investments here. And I think by getting a trade agreement with Württemberg, we've helped secure that potential problem. Catholic missionary in Anatolia. That's awesome. You're already converting to Catholicism really nicely. I might send you to Jerusalem to begin proselytizing that region. So you men replenish, and I might. I'm a bit conscious about all these Ottoman troops here. Get some extra extra support for them. And let's get some port upgrades. Well, firstly, Trieste. Get a light galley. Oh, yeah, Austrian. They were going to rebel no matter what. That's fine. We're going to have to spend a bunch of money repairing the Austrian capital, although it was kind of our fault. So we're about to lose a bunch of trade income as they attack that, attack the port. I mean, in theory, yeah. let's see if we can knock out the Austrian rebels in one swoop. Three cav units, they'll probably get away, but the rest of their units we can the infantry we can chase down and destroy. But our frontier is safe for now. We need to make sure well, I want to bake in as much e economic growth with this current unprecedented period of peace and prosperity. So I want my line infantry to be as undamaged as possible. So my conscripts are going to make up the front line. My line infantry are going to make up one particular flank. Militia on the other. As a result, my cavalry are going to be roaming, roaming around the centre. Hold the flanks in so we can maximize our firepower. You know, conscripts aren't super. One thing they can do is shoot muskets reasonably well. active on the flanks. Now there we go, we've managed to push back the Hussars. Our artillery was instrumental in that. Can 
hear them charging. See where you are. The regiment of horse are coming. Getting ready to fall. Get my gunners to engage at them. Engage them. At them. Form square. Okay, infantry. Hopefully they haven't reloaded yet. I think there's a must be a, there is a hidden unit of skirmishers around somewhere. Go on, you men, close the gaps. Oh no, they're still alive. Not for long though. Don't know why you're chain breaking position. Damn right, we're going to continue. I'm going to keep my general back here, actually, in case these guys ever break out of the uh, pocket. Excellent. Oh, they're still... <laughs> They've all got shot to ribbons inside the centre. That wasn't a close victory, that was a great victory. We'll teach these rebels. And then just auto the remnants. Apparently they killed 600 Senor. men. <laughs> Replenish, get back to Hungary. Excellent. 19,000 next turn, apparently. Although, we've got a bunch of... New town emerges in Greece. New town emerges in Bulgaria. So now is a perfect time to be cash rich. It is absolutely super. See, there's still one Hungary, but now our wealth is spectacular. I very much do. Yeah, I need, I need more more forces in Cairo, but that's okay. We can make some good investments. We can upgrade a lot of our economic infrastructure. And things are going to be pretty nice. And hopefully, over time, slowly start to creep up the tech tree a little bit more. So first of all, these two towns, Cleovia... And Larissa. Let's get those constructing up into up into uh, better industrial buildings. You man, fall back to Hungary. 
So we have to make sure we top up our units here, repair these last two buildings, get these buildings repaired. See, the Hunchman Catholics, that's not a problem. We may even start to tax them. I think if I build a school, a, cheat, a low school, yeah, that's clamor for a form 14. We're on 14 now, so by the time they're, it's built, it will have reduced by 3. So I think that's it's still beneficial that we want the university here. It also allows us to move um, agents between these two universities a bit easier. Um, 7,000. Let's get, upgrade the cotton warehouse in Cairo. And let's recruit some African native infantry. One more turn till we get new model bayonet drill. Then we're up to reorganized procurement. Then army board. Yeah. Good decisions. Okay, 2000 ish. Let's get better roads in Hungary. Great. Metal roads across the board, so lots of these regions are just, are just going to start growing. Well, they're going to grow really nicely. Naples is still our highest, our most highest earning. Not potentially not highest earning, because even though Venice is a, is lower, it's got a higher tax rate. But our top line income is the highest. And you've got a Tenza, another town is growing. Pretty nice. Apart from that though, I don't think there's much we want to do. Can you leave Ankara? So I want you to probably be closer to the front line. Or well, maybe not too close. But I want you to be closer to the front line. We've got a large navy, but they must be starting to suffer with financial trouble. But yeah, I want to start proselytizing Palestine. Egypt, 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 Egypt. And yeah, they're slowly chipping away. Egypt's uh, religious makeup. Could probably start to build up a bit of a navy, but we've got a, a significant shortage of naval technology so our ships are just going to be significantly worse than our adversaries pressure is still a concern Württemberg is still a problem no I am not going to give you technology I suspect they witnessed that Ooh, are they going to start? Are they going to amphibiously invade somewhere? Looks like it. Yoinks. Sounds about right. Okay, they tricked me into thinking they were going after Istanbul, which if they did, that would be a huge problem. But instead, it looks like they want to go for Egypt. That is their right. Making me a lot better about building those troops there now. Let's say Russia is also sending another army down towards us from the around the Carpathian Mountains. If I could try and get peace with Russia, that would be super. Gentlemen in Venice, excellent. We'll get you over to Graz. Diplomacy, major nations, Russia. Okay, what about if I can make peace with you, Spain? No. Nope. Yeah, they're coming. With a full army, no less. Okay, our Vienna. Got 
got some lots of exciting troops. But I want to stick with infantry. Because we're gonna need them to we're gonna need them to chase down this force here. So they haven't yet landed, so we've got another turn of, of a possible build-up. I think the answer's got to be mass recruitment. Keep you nearby. Okay, have I got anywhere with... Sadly, I don't have anywhere with surplus ships. Except for my home port. But you may do... Can I get to here? Get to here, pick this army up, and push towards Damascus. Deploy my army. Disembark, Mr. Asimani. Get my sick rate to just generally cause a nuisance amongst all their ships. Damascus, I mean, Bang Damascus is their currently their most wealthy region. Let's hit this force and draw their garrison into the fight. Yes, and then we will put Damascus under th under threat and see how they feel about that. Because if I could take Jerusalem and Damascus and push them push them away from the Mediterranean completely, that would make me a lot safer. It would make me hugely safer. But it's also a possible ploy for peace. I was hoping I could squeak them in here, but there's too many rocks. Okay, start like so, and then I'll spread you out later. Infantry grenadiers hold artillery. He's going to trundle up. Yeah, you can make it up there. Very much not ideal. So they're coming in from the left. Their reinforcements are, that is. Well, kind of from the left. Let's put my spare infantry on the right, because our, our flank's actually pretty well protected. They're advancing towards us in good form. You might advance at speed. Intelligently, they are electing to not engage us. No, no, they changed their mind. We're not optimally deployed for um, maximum firepower yet. Let's get my guns up on this tiny little peak. Go. 
to you fired your last volley. Here, cavalry charge. Oh no, they've changed their mind. I think I want to push a unit of pikemen over on the flank. It'd be even better once our artillery gets into position. Oh, and my general. Let's get him up here as well. Their artillery is going to start engaging us soon, but I'm hoping I can catch them unprotected. Guns are hauled into position. Unlimber. Form oh, square. Hit the block of troops. Are they? Are they? They're moving to intercept my cavalry with infantry. That is no good. Negative ghost runner. The pattern is full. Charge into the Mamelukes. Don't just leave them shattered, destroy the artillery. Okay, let's pull you guys back to this position. You're a little bit safer and our right flank is definitely stronger. Get my conscripts out of there. Artillery engage the horsemen. More infantry coming in. Recover my cavalry. Oh, they're trying to cut me off. Smash into those Armenian archers as they're on the run. Advance and take the ground. guys run over here pikes get over here too artillery engage the janissaries while they're currently they're currently uh, not under threat slaughtering the Armenian archers continue hacking them down Maintain the advance on the right flank. Oh, 
Okay, you're starting to get bogged down now. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's retarget the gunners, pokes at the main block. Cavalry is shattered. Withdraw my regiment of horse. I think they've done enough. I don't necessarily want to kill these guys because a lot of these guys actually come from the garrison. The garrison of Damascus. So I want them to re I want them to return to Damascus depleted. Maintain the advance. Okay, get my guns to now start picking off this last unit of cavalry. Keep pushing up the right flank, although let you guys finish. Ah, oh, there's no point. Keep pushing up. Hello, what's this? Kurdish Hillman. Hey, buddies. You can go in for the charge if you like. You, you're, you're skirmishes. You don't like that. See, they don't like it, and now my men just carry on running to their positions like they planned. Chase down the Kurdish Hillman. Your forces have be are in the process of being smashed. Shattered, excellent. Conscripts open up. The last unit of archers to break. Split our artillery fire up against them. We've taken the centre of the field again. Push everyone up. There we go. So we are not going to continue the action because I want their units to kind of exist. But yeah, they lost so many men. That's glorious. Will they demand... If we demand the surrender? No. So, well, looking at the timer... I believe it's time to end the episode because otherwise this will take just a little take us a little bit too far over so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the assault on damascus this will teach the ottomans to uh, to declare war on us we'll destroy all their stuff um and i think ultimately i may continue this war until we take jerusalem before making peace i want to force them back in towards baghdad and yerevan and create a front line away from our cities but thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.